continuing our example in part C, we're asked to estimate the number of years to the nearest whole that it will take for the population to double. In what actual year will this take place? The function that we found in part A for exponential growth was p of t equals 22,395 times 1.062 to the t. If we want to know when this function is going to double, then we want to know when the output of this function is going to be twice the original. In other words, we want to know when our function on this right hand side here equals two times the initial value. So we can set up the equation that's given here and then we can simplify our function so that it reads 44,790, so 44,790 equals 22,395 times 1.062 to the t. Now at this point in the semester what we understand about solving these types of problems is that we need to do so using our graphing calculator. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use our graphing calculator and then we're going to let y1 be the left hand side of this equation and then we're going to let y2 be the right hand side and then we are going to determine the intersection of those two equations. So let's see how that's going to work. Let's go to our y equals in our calculator and we're going to enter 44,790 for y1. Then for y2 we're going to enter 22,395 times 1 point, oops that's a comma, excuse me, 22,390 5 times 1.062 and then exponent can't do t, we need to do x. So there are our two functions entered into the calculator. Now the window is going to be a real issue here. So for the window values I'm going to select 0 for x min because this is a, a real world problem. I'm going to select 25 is fine for x max. I might even try 20. y min is 0 and then y max has to be at least 44,000 for me to see where these intersect. Actually 44,790. So I'm going to take y max and I'm going to overestimate. I'm going to make that 50,000. So just to be sure that I can see all the parts of the graph, I'm going to hit graph and I can see the here's the y1 part which is the horizontal, there's my exponential part and I can see the intersection. To find the intersection I'm going to use second calc and then number five is intersect. I'm asked the series of questions first curve, enter, second curve, enter, guess, ignore, but click enter, and then I obtain my intersection which is 11.52. If we round that to the nearest whole year as asked in the directions we get t is 12 to the nearest year. If we add that to our starting year which was 2001 plus 12, we get 2013 as the actual year in which the population doubles. In addition to showing the work here, your graph should look pretty close to what I've drawn here, which is a pretty rough resemblance of what you see on your calculator.